Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you, Giacomo, for invitation uh, for this session. I will omit uh, a presentation about our agency uh, because the m many of you already know uh, that we are the governmental institution. And uh, I will continue with some concrete uh, numbers about situation uh, uh, about SMEs uh, in Slovakia. I don't have some such deep uh, research as in Belgium, but thanks to uh, some report from the Ministry of Finance, we have some information about uh, the situation of the SMEs in Slovakia. So we can see that in Slovakia, uh, more than 80% uh, of the uh, SMEs, 80% uh, uh, from the enterprises are SMEs enterprises which means that uh, more than 120,000 uh, 120, uh, enterprises are SMEs, which is quite a big number from the all enterprises in Slovakia. Uh, these numbers are from 2010, but I think this number uh, is uh, mostly the same also uh, and very actual. And uh, more, than, more than 50, let's say, uh, Less, less than 60 percent of uh, employees is employed uh, employed in SMEs. So, and from all the gross domestic products is more than uh, 50 percent provided by SMEs. So SMEs are very important in uh, in uh, Slovak uh, uh, in uh, in Slovakia itself. Uh, I don't have uh, the, some. Uh, precise number from the GeoICT's SMEs, but uh, this can be some basic view to the uh, situation about SME and in, uh, SMEs and their in involvement to Slovak economy. And now, on the other hand, there is INSPAR implementation in Slovakia. Uh, in this time, we have fully transposed INSPAR directive, so we have new act and uh, its decree. So we have uh, functional act with implementing rules. We have established status of obliged organizations regarding INSPIRE. We have set responsibilities for the annexes to obliged organizations. What is important, uh, organization of INSPIRE is formed by coordination board and expert group. So we have two levels of organization of INSPIRE. And in this time, we have published for the operational national discovery service. Uh, also, we have some Inspire View services already published, and we have initial version of National Geo Portal. Uh, few information: How can SMEs collab collaborate uh, in Inspire implementation in Slovakia? Also, of course, it's uh, on the question of consideration. But uh, SMEs in Slovakia are also members of expert group. Expert group is uh, open uh, is open to to uh, experts also from ICT, Geo ICTs uh, companies. Uh, they can provide their ideas. They can discuss with us, and they can help us with organization issues regarding data. In some cases, SMEs can be obliged organization regarding Slovak law. For example, a very good example is Orto Imaginary, Orto Photomap Slovakia, which is in owning of uh, two private companies uh, which are selling this map to, to Slovak, uh, uh, to, to, mini to the Ministry of Agriculture. So it means, uh, uh, thanks to the contract between the Ministry and the Geo ICT company, uh, they are uh, in a reality obliged organization. Regarding technologies, uh, SMEs are usually in Slovakia hardware and software vendors regarding GeoICT. Uh, some companies provide uh, Inspire services for, for uh, obliged organization, and of course, they are developers of added values applications uh, which use uh, Inspire uh, services. And what are maybe the visions? I'm not sure if the, the, if the visions are general around the Europe of, uh, or around the Slovakia, but uh, our idea is that SMEs 
should have maximum access to inspired data and services. It means that uh, they should not pay uh, for, future, uh, for, the, for the data a huge amount of the money. I understand that uh, uh, this point is uh, not precisely described, but, uh, and we can discuss what does it mean, huge amount of the money, but uh, uh, access should not be very restricted. And SMEs should provide added values application. Of course, it's their business, and uh, they are paying taxes uh, for, uh, after uh, implementation of some business. So, some optimistic business model can be, and I hope that we will discuss during the project about this model as well, is that public sector organization data are uh, provided by obliged organizations. So in the most cases, the, these, uh, are, these are public organi uh, sector organizations. Then, uh, these organizations are founded by taxis, which are provided by uh, also SMEs. So, if we provide uh, the data, we should have them available also to the SMEs at no cost of minimal cost of some cost, because SMEs are providing value-added services and applications, and of course they are paying taxes back to our public organizations, and we can continue with our work after that. So, I hope that this business model we will discuss about it, and uh, this can be uh, one on the result uh, of some output of the project, if such model can exist in Europe, in some countries or not. So this is also my question, and I hope I will find the answer during the project. Thank you very much.